happenings and hello thank you once again for watching my videos this here is the ancient spirit Tralaka speaking here now in spirit video 62 it was in those times where the families of gray spies even started to have relationships with the humanoids of different origins who were thou on planet earth living Though something curious happened. Some of those individuals that were of the old gray, their humanoid lovers, a female, they were in relationship, bore children naturally. This being strange, for millions of years, the old grays of so, so, so many different species of them created for the most part their offsprings in test tubes and vast labs to continually create exactly what that certain species of old greys of this or that wanted for their species and for their future. It was a near emotionless continuation millions of years in its functions from time of egg and sperm connecting successful unto the time that child was old enough to send intelligent information either by ESP or by mouth. Though by mouth it is not as common for a mouse form of communication is extremely limiting compared to mind-to-mind -mind communication which was greatly encouraged for the megaloads that could in short time be delivered or received and fully understood. Now, back to the point. Something curious happened. Some of the humanoids began naturally having children by their old gray species lovers, who was their, as I said, lovers. For the first time, another first for this planet Earth's history, humanoids with gray genetics were being born, yet retained greatly a humanoid look that was not too suspicious or unusual at those times. However, a near genius IQ and very high mathematics and also of astrology. This was hidden from the old gray installation bases because some of those old gray spies that had deserted their roles and away from the collective knowledge of old gray species hive mindness. Those children grew up on Earth that was of the old gray and humanoid relationships. They understood because they were taught the full 14 signs of the zodiac. Their fathers, who were of the old gray of hive mind in years back, taught their children what was very forbidden to be taught to any being or any species who was not a direct gray species. This was the beginning of the original secret family teachings. Another Earth first. <laughs> How about that? But back to the story. Gray species were now also within the Atlantean cultures on their island continent of Atlantis. This, haha. <laughs> was the beginning to cause rifts of mischief, rumble, 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 among the Atlantean groups. Though once of logic and intellect and wisdom and high sacred sciences, now we're starting to have issues with other Atlanteans, rumble, 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 rumble. The core problem behind all this <laughs> was the propaganda lies, the old gray species spies, those dirty little creeps were teaching the Atlanteans who scoffed at ha 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 oft at first, though as time went on, different areas of Atlantis started to allow this false agenda to be understood as truths. Ha! Another first on Earth. This alone created much bitterness <laughs> against the new believing. <laughs> Atlanteans, uh, another first on the planet Earth. It is said a large group of Puritan Atlanteans who still upheld the many, many generations of understandings 
of their off-world heritage with other beings from other systems in this living multi-dimensional universe and also the ancient understandings of the living multi-dimensional universe and the application of the universal law of one although taught as the law of one of no separation but all species are within the living multi-dimensional universe and the universal laws must be upheld by everybody the same. Now, the teachings of the spies of the old species of greys that were being taught around Atlantis eroded away the old sacred understandings and knowledge, replacing it with fears and limitations. Could you imagine? Atlanteans with limitations. Oh, another first on Earth. And now they're believing that they needed to be protected by a deity uh, that to protect them. Then they also must give part of what they own or what they earn to be able to be properly protected from monsters who lurk beyond. This is where the Puritan Atlanteans drew their line on the paving stones where they stood. Ha ha! They also were moving the talking to thousands and thousands of families that were still pure of any nonsense and who still understood the ancient technology encodings uh, to be able to get into the Great Valley past the cloak of camouflage netting over the Great Valley to, dis to disengage it so at least one of the mothership saucers uh, would be able to be filled with the Atlantean Puritans. But they couldn't seem to find who still had that knowledge of the encodings because it had been so many thousands of years ago that you know, since they been those ships were put there, and to leave to be able to leave this planet, which the Puritans really wanted, because they have had enough of it. It was decided by the majority majority by the thousands of Atlantean Puritans to leave Earth in the pursuit of the plans to return to a somewhere system near the Pleiades, somewhere around there where they thought common sense would probably still mean something because it surely wasn't meaning anything on Earth anymore. A set of tall twin Atlantean women stamped in front of at least what they thought was in front of a very large collection of Puritan Atlanteans. Both were a rarity for both of these women of these uh, were twins, okay? These two were twins. They from the same Puritan Atlantean parents, yet they were near seven feet in height, very, very long, flowing, blondish white hair past the lengths of their waist, bluish silver eyes, which were much larger than Atlanteans nowadays, at least of the last five generations. One's name was Enosia, and the other one was Parnassia. Attention, Puritan Atlanteans, one, one spoke. All is prepared, though, as we step over into the Great Valley, there will be a bioscan to assure that each Puritan is exactly as their ID declares, so that no filth of those teaching which breathed horribly into the once great island continent of Atlantis will be among those who tonight, as the Earth's moon's position is correct for where we will be heading past. Many of the Puritans were getting into double lines in the paths of the great as they headed in secret into the great valley direction. The crystal-powered long hovercrafts were hauling luggage and prepared food and nutrients and water for the journey and where they were going, wherever that was. They would be taking shortly this flight. It was good for the long hovercrafts were silent as they passed through the air 
to the sides of the marching lines. The twins, Enosia and Partensia, now stood at the gate of the great valley. In front of them were multiple sets of pillars to the left and to the right that had greatly overgrown with vines and vines and more vines and many trees as other uh, Atlanteans of the Puritans came up behind them and then they turned to face right uh, in the direction of the two women uh, standing there. Enosia and Partentia together side by side stepped forward into the vines around and between the sets of the pillars as they began to hum growing louder and louder then together beginning to sing a very unusual high pitch and a rhythm, a chant, ending some moments later with a very long holding of a very high pitch voice in perfect harmony. The inner pillars to each side of the uh, twins turned from the dark colors to that of sky blue. That was very radiant in the night. On the right side of each of the inner side pillars, a large two foot by two foot white screen appeared. Then second later, all those vines and vines and vines and trees all around disappeared with, with just another second's thought. With the once trees that had been in front of them, between the pillars, both of the twins stepped forward at the same time to stand in front of the screen in front of them. One hummed a note. The other joined that hum that they stopped at the same time also pushing then the correct symbols in the correct mode. The valley below to the side of them lit up around the mothership saucer that they were going to leave with. Even more curious, a tube of energy that was lit from within appeared in between the sets of pillars. The twins turned to the lines of the Puritan Atlanteans and said, Go now, embark down through the tube that is lit from within. It is of energy itself projected from the mothership saucer. It is safe, but please, please be of haste that we are leaded or loaded all together before the dawn begins of another day. This here is the Ancient Spirit Trilaka. As always, be safe, journey, expand your mind, understand the greatness of educations that we truly could know. Good night.